My favorite thing about QSI. Hmm, seeing my friends. I like when I, when my friends like come to like, to make me a big welcome. I get to interact and meet with different um, students from other countries. They don't allow bullying in this school, which makes it very easier for other kids to be here. There is a strong connection within the students and the teachers. There's no one left out. Everybody's included. There's a lot of good people in it and good teachers. And a lot of different subjects that are really fun. A lot of activities. I really like the teachers, I like all my friends, and I really like going out to recess. This school is very big and interesting, and the playground's very fun. USI Sarajevo is really unique. It is a mid-sized school where you have students from ages preschool three years old all the way up to 18. The most exciting part for, for us is we just recently moved into this building. So the students are really excited to have a gym and an indoor playground and the library. We have a much larger library here. Our art room is amazing. The facility is great. The new building is bringing us uh, a lot of light. We have a great gym and it's very nice. We also have the local uh, facilities that we use. Three soccer fields, tennis court, a close swimming pool, and uh, two basketball courts that we are using for our tournaments and other activities. It's a great school and a great city. We've got a new building. We have a, a lovely new science facility, which I'm very excited for. For me and my class, that means more labs, more toys, more practice, and hopefully a lot more uh, fun learning. QSI uses mastery learning, which is where a child progresses at their own pace. Mastery learning means approaching every child based on their needs and based on what they need in order to succeed. Kids develop at different rates. They don't all learn things at the same pace. We have to individualize our lessons for each kid and give them a say in how they're going to demonstrate their, their mastery of a concept. The beautiful thing is, if we have a different way to teach our, our TSWs, which is what we call our standards, we're not bound necessarily to the curriculum that's provided, we're only bound to that the learning occurs. A TSW basically uh, outlines what the student needs to learn for that unit or for that particular uh, topic area. And mastery learning allows for students who have mastered that TSW quite quickly to move forward. And if the student hasn't, uh, master that concept, uh, they're able to take their time and actually complete that task at their own pace where they feel comfortable and actually retain the information. Students can go somewhat at their own pace and the focus is on what they know and what they can do. So for science classes that means lots of labs, lots of interactive practicals and less memorizing formula for the tests and more putting into action in the lab. Very interesting. Classes are small. Uh, children get a lot of individual attention. Uh, we do focus on academics, but also we focus on the life skills and uh, on their emotional growth overall. What I would say is most important is teaching our students to love learning. QSI Sarajevo is the school that is giving uh, students opportunity and letting them not to be left behind, which means every child has an opportunity to be part of everything what we do in our school, from athletics to activities to different events that are uh, connected with culture. I love working at QSI Sarajevo and working as a director because our teachers have the heart and desire to serve our children. With the teachers, they're very helpful, very kind. I've noticed that they, they're willing to give their free time to help us learn as best as we can. Teachers can interact with you on a more personal level. If you're struggling with something specific, they can help you with that. I think it fits everyone's needs. So if you're ahead, they'll give you work to make sure that you're satisfied with your learning. I like the system itself, how everything works, how people are encouraging each other. Um, teachers are very supportive. They don't want us to fail, so they try their best with a different learning techniques and trying to make learning as fun and as effective as possible. It's the concept of success for all because our teachers find various ways to approach a child if they do not understand a certain concept. Mastery learning and our success orientations enable us to get the best out of our students. 
We have seven success orientations at QSI Sarajevo. Um, that's kindness and politeness, group interaction. We have aesthetic appreciation, independent endeavor. There is responsibility. I've learned about concern for others, trustworthiness. My favorite one is, uh, is kindness and politeness because everyone is kind to of you. The success orientations shape you into a, a great individual. They help balance out your academic qualities and your social responsibilities as well. Not only do you have to be a good student, but you have also have to be a good human being. I think having it from such a young age, it teaches kids that the way you treat others is going to reflect on the person you are and how you're treated. Students and teachers from all around the world, we are together in this inclusive environment and we have this privilege to meet other cultures, to share values and to learn from each other. When someone visits a school for the first time, I love showing them when kids are learning. They can envision when they walk into a classroom and they see other kids learning, they can envision their own child being a part of that group. I am a parent of four children here at QSI. Well, I take the back one graduated from QSI last year. So four children overall. We've been here two and a half years. The teachers are really invested in the children, not just their academic success, but who they are as a person, how they're doing, and the school is really good about listening to parents, listening to their teachers if they need something to make it a successful school. QS Science Sarajevo has exceeded all of our expectations. Uh, we are incredibly happy with the way that our kids have uh, responded, the environment that the school has provided, the kind of support, challenge as well. Uh, as a parent, as a member of the board of the school, I'm so impressed with what they've done here. I mean, this is a fantastic school, a great place for the kids where they can be relaxed, where they can enjoy themselves, uh, and where they can learn a lot. I love that my daughter is, is at the school. You know, QSI's mission statement is every five-year-old comes to school eager to learn, and I think I've seen it through my own child. She is learning, she is eager to come to school. It's our goal to foster that and to enable all of our students to do that. I actually do love coming to school because school is fun. I love to learn and play with my friends and this place is like pretty cool. QSI has helped me shape my education for a great future. An important part of Bosnian culture is to teach uh, students uh, about the cultures and uh, different lifestyles in Bosnia and Herzegovina. This is a place where you can hear the Ezan uh, call for prayer from a mosque, uh, which blends beautifully with church bells. And you can hear that while you're sitting in one of the charming cafes drinking delicious Bosnian coffee. And this is really amazing. We love living in Sarajevo. Sarajevo is filled with mountains and lakes and rivers and it's a hidden gem of all the QSI schools and I'm sure others will say the same about their, their schools, but this one, I, I love it here. The city itself has a certain charm to it that we kind of hope to bring into our school, especially now that we're downtown. Sarajevo's great, it has great food, people are friendly. I guess, um, you know, the people make the city. Sarajevo is a great place. Obviously, there's tons of history here, but also it's a modern city. It's, uh, it's growing in its infrastructure. The thing that comes to mind for me, every, every time I walk down the street, I smell something good that I'd love to go eat. Bosnia is amazing. Uh, I enjoy Bosnia, uh, Sarajevo in particular. Food is delicious. Uh, it's, it's a low cost of living, at least for me. I love Bosnia. It's, um, the Western Balkans are more than I could hope for. It's piles and centuries of exciting history on it. Turkish, Germanic, and Slavic influences. People are kind, welcoming, and relaxing, and the outdoors here are amazing. Living in Sarajevo is like being immersed in rich culture, history, and positive spirit, surrounded by people who have good hearts and who will welcome everybody, no matter where they come from.
at QSI Sarajevo during these difficult times, we provide our students a variety of learning paths, such as face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and distance learning. For face-to-face -face learning, our protocols are in line with all of the government and WHO recommendations. Everyone who enters the building is subject to temperature checks with our state-of-the-art technology. Throughout the day, masks, desk screens, and social distancing are used as appropriate and we have sanitation stations throughout the school and in every classroom. During the pandemic, as many families opt to keep their children at home, teachers had to quickly learn how to transition their teaching strategies to various online approaches. Currently, each of our classes has a two-camera setup to help overcome the challenges. A top camera and web camera that are used to give a live feed of the classroom for online learners. All right, which one has Our distance learners class? follow the same daily schedule and join their classes online through either Zoom or Office Teams. In some instances, students in the classroom also participate individually online. Whether online or face-to-face, -face, students work independently in small groups or participate in whole group instruction. Since you've completed your work following the correct rules yesterday, you can exit the meeting to keep working. Through lots of hard work and valiant efforts, all of our students are receiving their education no matter their situation. And they continue to receive differentiated instruction at their individual levels, whether in school or at home. Our teachers spend an enormous amount of time in planning and preparing for students to learn in both large and small group settings. Our teachers work diligently to adapt their teaching styles, mastering the challenges of teaching via Zoom and Office Teams through each and every technical glitch. And we are so proud of their efforts. Can you turn on your, can you unmute so you can hear me? With this brief glance into our classrooms at QSI, it is evident QSI Sarajevo is committed to safely and effectively achieving success for all students, whether at school or at home. QSI Sarajevo is pleased to announce that we will be reopening our doors to students on Thursday, August 27th. Our greatest concern is the safety and well-being of our students and staff, so we have implemented many policies to protect those on our campus. You can find these in more detail in the Return to School Plan. For students who ride the bus, here are the safety measures that we will be implementing. Students must be one meter apart. Face masks must be worn at all times. Bus monitors will exit the bus and take the students' temperatures with a no-touch thermometer before they may enter the bus. Students will put on hand sanitizer upon entering the bus. Students will have assigned seats for every bus trip. Any student with a temperature higher of 37.8 degrees Celsius will not be able to enter the bus. The bus monitor will contact the parent to ensure that the student has a safe plan to return to home. The QSI Sarajevo administration will be contacted immediately to document and follow the case of the student with the fever. Upon entering the school, students will exit the bus and walk along the zebra pedestrian walkway.
When entering the bus, walk directly to your assigned seat, which will be given to you by the bus monitor. When you get to your seat, make sure to fasten your safety belt, sit facing forward, and keep your hands to yourself. Bus riders will be dismissed over the intercom 10 minutes prior to car riders and walkers. When loading onto the bus, students must be one meter apart, face masks must be worn at all times, and enter the bus one person at a time. Students are to walk directly to their assigned seat, fasten their safety belt, sit facing forward, and keep their hands to themselves. Those who walk to school will line up one meter apart and wait to have their temperature checked with a no-touch thermometer at the front gate. Students are encouraged to take a private car or walk instead of taking public vehicles. Any student with a temperature higher of 37.8 degrees will be isolated and quarantined at the entrance and the parents will be called for immediate pickup. The nurse will follow up with the family regarding the student's health and history. The QSIS administration will be contacted immediately to document and follow the case of the student with the fever. When walking towards the building, Remember to keep your mask on, stay one meter apart, and walk along the pedestrian pathway to reach the entrance of the building. For those who will drive to school, please drive onto campus by following the painted arrows. Keep your children in your vehicle while waiting in the carpool lane until you get to the checkpoint station where your child will be escorted out of the vehicle. When your vehicle stops, have your children exit the right side of the vehicle only. Student temperatures will be taken when they exit the vehicle. Any student with a temperature higher of 37.8 degrees will be sent home immediately. The nurse will follow up with the family regarding the student's health and history. The QSIS administration will be contacted immediately to document and follow the case of the student with the fever. In order to have a smooth car pickup and drop off, we are asking that all drivers proceed directly out the gate and not block traffic while in the carpool lane. When entering the school, students are to put hand sanitizer and walk directly to their class. Staff members will assist in the hallway to direct students to their classes. Only school employees and students should enter the school. No parents or visitors are allowed to be on campus unless it is essential business and approved by the administration. Safety protocols must be followed, including wearing masks, hand sanitizing hands, limiting contact, social distancing. When walking in the hallways, make sure to walk on your right side and maintain social distancing. When washing your hands, wet your hands with clean water Apply soap, lather your hands by rubbing them together with soap. Scrub all the surfaces of your hands, including the palms.
palms, backs, fingers, between fingers, scrubbing up to your arm and nails. And keep scrubbing for 20 seconds. To help you, you may want to hum the ABC song. Rinse your hands under clean water when finished. Dry your hands with disposable paper towels and then throw in the trash can.